Eventually the victim will die and their corpse will explode, creating a fully formed plague demon. Fudge. So, and I'm hoping to avoid that. <laughs> I think so those who survived the plague or are cured have reported that they experience a vision of an enormously powerful entity trapped in a void of darkness and desolation. They heard the whisper of this entity who filled them with a desire to destroy every living creature. The only known way to cure the abyssal plague was exposing the victim to divine magic, but that only worked if the spell was cast before the plague had taken root in the victim's body. And you have seen thumb sores begin to form. So it's too late. Yes. So I think two of us go and, like, use the bed sheets he's on to make a stretcher and start leaving the town with him. The other two of us go talk to the mayor, see if we can find where the cave is. And we just head that direction. Worst case. Yeah, we, we, I don't even think we told the mayor what's going on. So we got to, we got to. Well, he's in. also in the library you continuing his studies. Well, I mean, Harry did mention to the guards to tell them something, but I don't know if the guards have told him or not. I told them that he's contagious and to get the fuck away from him. Yeah. Uh, Birdman. So everybody left in the room with him and they are guarding outside. Yeah. We told them to leave the room, and Harry closed the door. Okay. Yep. All right, so we're going into the manor. I rushed to the library to find the right. I'll go to the, uh... You think the mayor has, like, a cage on a card or something we could throw him in? Do you guys want to split up? Some people go to the, uh, talk to the mayor. Some people go check on the situation with, uh, him down there, or do we want to stick together? No, I think we should split up. There's not much time. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna head. To I can the, go check on it. Yeah. Someone. I'll go with her. Him. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Birdman, you want to go to the talk to the bear with me then? Yep. Yeah, I'm already there. Okay. I'm running into the library. Is my detect disease still on, or is it over? It's over. Okay. Wait. How long does it last? Six, An hour, right? Seven. I thought it was an hour. Probably, let me see. Or 10 minutes or an hour, I'll have to look. Uh, okay. yeah. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So you guys have been gone for uh, an hour? Okay. And okay. I just, but to, to confirm before I talk to the mayor, we, we are advising to get this guy out of here, and that's what Harry and Gene have went to do, basically. Yep. Start preparing. Yep. Okay. So did you come back to the uh, front door of the manor, um... You uh, do you just come inside? You knock on the door. What are you doing? No, I, if even if that butler comes, barge past the butler. Go f go check the library. Check the mayor's okay. office. Find the mayor. Fuck the butler. Yep. You guys just kind of burst into the mansion. Front door, of course, is unlocked. You burst past. Giancarlo is polishing some shit in a room, and he sees you go past. He just kind of scuttles out after you, like horrified. He would just burst in. He follows, uh, he sees half of you go to the infected room and the other half go to his uh, lord's library and he follows. Uh, as you come in, uh, Vaili Shoth says, oh, you've returned. Um, and what, what news do you bring? Do you want to do this uh, gravy or do you want me to handle it? No, you said you wanted to talk. Go for it. Okay. Um, so we, we've looked into the situation and basically on everything that we've read that we believe that, um, there's very slim chance that we're going to be able to save the priest. He's been fully infected with, uh, what seems to be some plague that, uh, ca uh causes, uh, scaling or, uh, gold scales and silver, I think it was on his skin. And uh, at that point, there's nothing uh, that we know of except for possibly getting him out of here, out of your towns, and uh, getting him to a safe place. We did find information about a, a cave somewhere nearby. We're hoping that maybe you can give us some information about exactly where it is. But potentially, if this goes bad, he could potentially turn into a plague demon. And that could put your whole town at risk. And we are going to do our best to ensure that doesn't happen. So we're hoping for anything you can do, say, or advise us to help us save your town. Well, he sighs, uh, as I did, as I feared, I've done my best to research. And there's just not that much information on it. Uh, unfortunately, you know, he's 
he would be the person who would be able to tell us best how to stop this, how to help us. You know, he was, didn't go around spreading all of the knowledge that he had, but he's formally trained. He's been trained by prior priests of this area. He knows the history of the area. He's who I turn to for information and and I can't bear the thought of losing him, especially in times like these. I've done everything I can, and I, I know you were here with me, you know, researching this. I can't risk the town. It's just too bad that we don't know how he got infected. No, we don't, but we're, we're, we're not. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we're not planning to give up on the search just yet. We are still here with you. We're not abandoning your town. Um, the, we did find uh, some information about the cave of the Perry. Am I pronouncing Philippair, Perry? Uh, are you aware of this sleep. this cave at all? How do you I it? sleep. Okay. I've heard of I've heard of the cave. I've just never thought about going. It. Is it? Do you know if it's far or, or how near it is to your uh, town? It's, I'm pretty sure it's northwest. I could probably find it on a map here. Uh, let me look. I was just thinking, though, is there any, has anyone checked on him? Is Has he come to consciousness at all? Is there any way that we could ask him if there's any way to help him or how he could have been infected with this, if he knows anything about this plague? I mean, what if it doesn't stop with him? That's, that's a, their fear. There has to be um, our, a way our, that our he friends, was infected. Our friends Gene and Harry have went to check on him, um, but uh, maybe John Carlo could could go and uh, send send them any questions you would like to ask, and they can they can uh, see and and inquire. But uh, for your safety, I, I would I would advise to stay away. And John Carlo, if you do go, please be very careful and do do not touch him. Uh, John Carlo kind of nods curtly and looks at uh, his Lord Master. Uh, Valey kind of just looks at him and like nods, and John Carlo uh, leaves the room. And uh, Valey gets up and uh, looks through stacks of uh, books on his table, and he opens up um, one of the maps, and it will be your. Uh, Morovia map. Sorry, I'm just bringing it up real quick. And Let me so see if I are... have it loaded into. I do. I have it loaded into this. Um. All right. So we're looking at this map, and we see where Heartfelt is. The Sleeve Cave. I'm drawing it on this map because I didn't update it. Okay. Well, there we go. And you said each one of these blocks is like three miles long or something like that? So that's potentially nine miles away? Or was it these ten miles? Ten, ten each? It was ten for the larger map? or I can't remember. It's about 15 miles in. Yeah. They're five miles each? Five, five. Okay. So it's like a day's how, journey. Is it? Oh, God. Um, we, we don't know how much time we have left. Uh, what, uh, guys, just me not knowing about this world, I'm wondering if we asked for like a cart and carriage, would that speed up the, the travel or anything, if the mayor could offer us anything? If we were on the road, it would, but... <clears throat> through the countryside like that, I don't think. A car Just keep in be... mind, like, yeah, having to carry an incapacitated person will so slow us down no matter what. Maybe but if we have them in a cart, Maybe a cart through us. like a field of grass, through like trees and roots, it's still going to be I mean, difficult. I, yeah, I don't know what the path is. We can just sling him on a horse and just go. Yeah. Walk the horse next to us or whatever. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Oh, actually, Cricket. Um, the mayor said something specifically like. Well, we still don't know who infected him or the source of the infection. Mm -hmm. um, could I just insight check that? Could I just check 
how truthful I believe him or anything like that. Yeah, roll insight. A 21. So, uh, you study the mayor as he's looking uh, through the map as he was talking. You were paying close attention to his body language. He, his hands were shaking. He's genuinely concerned for the spread of this possible disease through his town. He doesn't know who may have infected the priest, how long he's been infected, but it came from somewhere. He doesn't okay. know who may have been infected since then. He doesn't know if any of you are infected. He's mm -hmm. openly worried and very concerned about uh, not mm -hmm. being able to stop this because he's about to lose the only person that could help him. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, we did want to escape to the cave with your friend, but uh, since we're on a time crunch... Would you be able to provide us any horses or carriage for travel? As uh, I don't think I'd we could I'd be happy to him. provide you with any carriages, horses, assistance that you may need uh, to go. Um, but if you're going to go, you need to leave immediately. Agreed. Um, and you just to reiterate, you haven't learned anything of value, uh, Mr. Mayor? Not since that you've left. I'll... All that I can see any hope in is being able to find some sort of miraculous cure or wake him up and and have the ability to talk to him and find out what he may know of any place in this entire province. Mr. Mayor, have you ever seen Miracle on Ice by chance? <laughs> no. It's a wonderful ice skating uh, in the capital city. Uh, should you have the chance to go, just know we will be your miracle on ice. And I turn dramatically, and I rush over to Harry and uh, Jean. You do a double axle like leap. Yeah, I spin out of the room and I Flourish. smoke my head on the the door frame. <laughs> uh, he yells after you. I'll make sure that uh, everything is prepared for you. And he kind of leaves to go notify the staff to get get everything ready. Hmm. Uh, Can I so ask we the are... mayor for uh, a favor before I leave to see if he has something? He's already gone. Hmm. Um. So we are now in the room with uh, Harry and Jean and... You guys are standing outside of the room where the guards are. Uh, I'm going to brandish my sword and then slowly open the door. <laughs> Kill the guards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guards just kind of move aside. Like, if you want to go in there, like, they're really... They're guarding him from getting out, not yep. you from getting in. So. Of course. I just want to... Not be surprised when you open the door. When you enter the room, um, the priest is still laying there, uh, visibly, uh, physically very different. He is covered almost uh, entirely over his face, hands, and shoulders uh, with weeping red sores that are encrusted in shining uh, flecks of gold and silver. Um, it looks like he's starting to glow. Um, the re remainder of his body is wrapped in, in robes and his feet are covered so that that's all that you can see for now. But he is breathing very raggedly but very strongly. So <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is... Like quickly, rather. Yeah. Um, so my magic as a warlock is given to me by a patron and my patron is a deity so i'm going to summon one of my healing elixirs and then pour it down his throat hoping to slow whatever is happening and then i'm just gonna actually how big is the bed is it like like a big i don't know four poster it's just or... a, no it's just a very small single all right well i'll just pick up one side of the bed and ask harry to pick up the other and start leaving 
pick it up. All right. You guys kind of scurry out. Yep. Uh, you all kind of congregate at that point. Um, when you leave at the back, let's move back to the manor. Um, you are out here at the rear of the manor where uh, Giancarlo is kind of scurrying around, uh, bringing things out, and uh, Veilishoff is helping load into the two wagons <clears throat> that he has provided for you. Nice. Um, both with a four set team of horses. And there are servants. Um, getting everything ready for you all. So one of the wagons, he is stocking um, with uh, some baskets of like fruit and some breads and uh, blankets. And the other is empty waiting for the priest. Yep, we'll just do a uh, ER and just slide the sheets off the bed onto the wagon. He says, uh, anything else? I think that ought to be enough to get you there and back. Burn the bread. And Burn the bed. <laughs> that can easily be done. Please, I please check on no your one doctor. Else is infected. Please check on your doctor. I was worried about him. Have someone that you trust go check on him and make sure he's not showing any, in, any early symptoms. Even if you think he might be contaminated, please quarantine him and anybody else that you see. Maybe put I'm in already a, uh, one step ahead of you. I will have my uh, men have gone to check on the doctor and bring him to examine everyone. We can't risk this getting out any further. Fortunately, the doctor doesn't live far from here. Make sure the curfew stays in effect as well and police it as best you can. Will do. Uh, Godspeed you and he kind of points you in the direction of north. Uh, best way of travel through the forest. Nice. <clears throat> Northwest. I'm going to jump in the back of the wagon with the priest, but keeping my distance as best I can. Does, does he have, uh, can we ask him if he has any, like, gloves and stuff we can wear um, that he has? I know John Carlo probably has a fine collection <laughs> that he can loan us some of his old used ones just so in case we have to, just extra precautions for us. And what kind of ones do you want? Gloves. Just anything so we're not touching Just anything directly. so if we we don't potentially accidentally touch something potentially. Uh, yeah, so John Garver kind of leaves and comes back with some of the like white uh, manicured gloves he has and like begrudgingly hands them over. <laughs> uh, they are his personal stash and he hands you uh, five sets. Awesome. Thank you. I put the gloves on and can I use my wilderness survival skills to get us to the cave as fast as possible yes so let me measure here i'll give you a bardic carry i have a ranger natural explorer and my favorite terrain is forest nice, nice. well that's pretty lucky for us then. i cannot become lost except by magic means well, Harry's grown up in the Dysert Forest in which you're traveling through, so... Easy. Definitely has advantage. Um, can you roll your wilderness skills for me? Or, um, shit, what is it called? Survival. Nature? Survival. Survival. Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Reroll with nature, and I'll use that as your advantage. You have a d6. Oh, I'll use that. All right. With the addition uh, of the... Hold on. Uh, let me get that d6. Five. Oh, on top of that. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. Uh, with the addition of the D6, you guys arrive um, in front of the cave where there is a small uh, kind of blazoned trail to it. Uh, it is 
like pebbles and gravel, but everything around it is really overgrown. So if you didn't know where you were going, uh, you would not be there. You reach the cave um, just before dawn the next morning. So it took you approximately 15 hours to get there, 16 hours to get there. Mm. While we were traveling, can I try to talk to Reese and see if he's conscious at all or we can ask him any of those questions that the mayor wanted us to ask? Yeah, let me look at your character sheet for a second. Go for it. Uh, the invocations that you picked up. Yep. Which were they? So I have Eldritch Armor, Curse Bringer, and Pact of the Blade. Are okay, those three. are the ones that are on here. All right. Yep. What is all... Oh, okay. Pact of Blade. I'm like, what's PBC, PBH? That's just like weapon attacks with buffs that I have. Wombo combo. Yeah. Uh, Gene, because of your uh, ability uh, from growing up at a tribe of Amazonians, uh, you learned superior communication skills. Nice. And believe that you are able to provide the care needed to possibly bring him out of this to get some information. So go ahead and uh, ask him questions that you'd hope he maybe want to answer. Do you want me to just give all of them or do you want to role play it? I want you to role play it. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I get close to Reese so he can hear me over the horses and the wagon and stuff. Not too close, but close enough. Uh, and then I'll say, Reese, wake up, Reese, until he does. Um, he doesn't seem to wake up. Um, he is kind of moaning lowly, though. Like, he's trying to speak, but he's... You can't tell if he's dreaming, if he's unconscious, or... He's not open to his eyes. Um, I'll get close and see if I can hear what he's saying. Uh, roll insight. Twenty. So you can kind of uh, hear him like stuttering and like fumbling his words, but it sounds like what he's saying is blood, 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 blood. blood. Um. I'm going to cut his arm with my greatsword just to see if it's uh, gross. <laughs> Maybe I can discern something from the blood. So uh, when you cut his arm with your greatsword, at uh, what point on his arm are you cutting? Just like his uh, shoulder area, I guess. Uh, when you cut through that, you cut through some of the uh, sores that are kind of uh, wilting up over his shoulder and uh, thick golden ooze comes out kind of splurting with the blood. Nice. Um, roll survival. Okay. Eighteen, nineteen. So you manage to escape any of the uh, infection and blood kind of splurting out uh, onto you or nice. I'll uh, into that. your hands, face. Um, 
But all that happens is it oozes uh, down his arm and is immediately replaced with another series of bubbling sores that are much larger and redder and immediately turn to gold. So it kind of like heals the wound in a way? It's healing itself. It's It appears as if it's thickening and causing his change faster in that area. Oh, jeez. Um, Maybe don't cut him anymore. <laughs> can I pull his sheet off and see if his legs... All right, what is, I don't know if he's wearing pants. Um, I just want to see if his legs are infected as bad as his arms are. Yeah, so when you pull the sheet back uh, and uh, kind of separate his robes, you can see that above uh, kind of the bound like socks and foot wraps that he's got on, uh, that his legs are now covered in sores um, just as badly as far up as you look. Um, so the only thing you can surmise at this point is he's completely um, infected. Yep, I'll just... Uh sit in the back the rest of the ride. All right. So you guys are in front of the uh, cave. You have arrived. It is still Who's taking dark. the lead. It is very quiet. There is almost no sound. Uh, from the forest at all around you for it being dawn. Who's going to take the lead? Dark vision Harry. up front, please. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it. I'll get in the front. Um, who else had dark I'll vision? I'll go in the middle. I have no dark, dark vision. vision. Okay, yeah, you, gravy shouldn't be in the front, so may, uh, yeah, I'll be in the front. Uh, Harry, I'll cast light on you. All right. Um, what do you prefer, like a weapon or just like your cloak? You can do it on my cloak. Okay. Yeah, you have light within. Uh, yeah, bright light within twenty feet, and then it's kind of dim after that. Are we carrying okay. um, him with us? Yep. We uh, can we pull the cart in the cave? Is it big enough? Oh yeah, that's true. So the opening of the cave appears to be big enough to pull the cart in, uh, horses, everything that you have with you. Okay. We'll do that. Do that. Sounds good. Well, this is supposedly for Neuralis, uh, uh, maybe. So it might not be flagged with demons, maybe. So. <laughs> Let's hope. Is there anything yeah. significant at the entrance of the cave? Any kind of signs, symbols, any kind of markings, or anything to notify this, you know, signify this as an important cave, or is it just looks like a normal cave? You know? So from the outside, it's just dark. All that you can see um, from the opening of the cave, it's dark outside still. Mm -hmm. The sun has barely come up just enough to kind of light the sky dimly. And um, you can't see very far into the cave. The outside is, uh, it's just against the side of a hillside. Everything around it is forest. Um, let me make sure here. And you guys are going to pull inside the cave? Mm -hmm. All right. It's likely, yeah. Do you guys have fog of war? Because it's not clearing. Oh, uh, I see half the map. You yeah, blacked out the top the half. Okay. So it's so... not fog of war, but I know you put a shape maybe. Or maybe it's fog of war. Sorry, I don't know. Let me move you.
and drag ourselves if it's easier. No, I'm just removing Veli and... Giancarlo. I can so this. once you enter the cave, um, all that you see uh, pretty much is just, you know, stone and rocks. Um, it's very dark, even for those of you with dark vision and completely pitch black. Now for those of you without. Um, behind you, the rear of the cave uh, that's outside seems to be brilliantly lit compared to it. Mm hmm. All right, who's going first? Who's taking the lead? Uh, I'll walk I'll I think we slowly move up and see what we can see. Yeah, um, I'll walk from the back with the horses, yeah. bringing the bodies. Harry, just take up a little bit back so your light is into uh, first. I mean, I don't know if it's possible with a cart, but are we trying to approach stealthily or anything? Nope. Well, I think we get out of the cart about here, maybe, if it's possible. So, so we get, is that what y'all guys want to do? Everybody? Yeah. Are you going to leave the cart and go forward on foot? That's what we're so trying I think to. Everyone's walking and I'm leading the cart at the back. Okay. Okay. Well, there's two carts. So you, some yeah, of you, half of you took one cart and the, okay. Oh, so where's the sick guy? We'll take that one cart. Right. Yeah. All right. Let me get your cart. Uh. This is your makeshift cart. Thanks. Cool. Right. So just for my personal uh, vision of this, the cart has a horse and you guys, I think Gene and uh, Harry are guiding the horse or gravy. Just just me. OK. Yeah. And the rest the of us are kind of walking ahead. Yeah. Could you put the cart back? Okay. The further you um, enter into the cave, um, those of you with dark vision, you can, of course, uh, see someone in front of you. Um, do you want any type of torches? Anything like that? Cast light on Harry. So Gal and I have dark vision. Harry and Jean have some vision. Okay. So you can see that the cave is full of uh, kind of a translucent-ish... Uh, water-based stalactites and stalagmites that are actively dripping. Uh, there's a small uh, pool of water uh, off to the left, and the cave has um, three, what appears to be kind of three offshoots, one to the west, one to the east, and one um, into the darkness ahead of you, as you assume that the cave stretches onwards. We see any kind of uh, footprints or markings of any any, any tra trail used more than others or anything? Any indication? Uh, Rule survival. I move up thirty feet. Eighteen. So you don't notice any particular kind of tracks or footprints or anything um, left. There is. Just a very undisturbed looking uh, fine dust that has kind of entered the cave and been blown around. There are leaves and can we get mostly the smell just test? rock. Go for it. I don't know what I'd roll. What do I remember about this cave? <laughs> uh, roll history. Okay. Give me a history check. History. Fourteen. All right. So from what you remember um, of the cave, you haven't uh, heard much about it other than you have heard the name before. You just can't quite place where you heard it. What do I roll for smell? 
What was that skill? That was in a different perception. A different game, so it'd probably be perception or nature oh. or something, depending on the smell, maybe. I'm like, oh, I remembered that, but I could. I was like, it seems so fucking long ago. It wasn't even this game. No, it was in uh something we were watching. Whatever that fucking Dragon Age is called. Uh, roll perception. What? Seventeen. So from what you smell, it smells like water. Like after a fresh rain, it smells like there is definitely moving water in the cave. You don't smell anything um, rotten or negative or anything like that that maybe you were anticipating. Nice. Okay. I'll just say to the group, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> Me too. Uh, you guys going to flip a coin? The crick of the last thing I'll burn is uh, I was like the one to kind of find the name of the cave or some information about Neuralis, or maybe I could be mistaken. Uh, was there anything like, you know, and the wanderer t goes down the left past the path seven times and m meets the goddess? Like, was there any sort of like directional input, like information, or was it just like? Clave is super, super sick. Uh, so, roll history. Well, good luck to me. A 12. So, what you remember is that you remember Neuralis is remembered for having planted a tree um, over a dead elf's body as a way of continuing the circle of life. Okay. <clears throat> And you notice that um, behind the pool of water, there is a small um, patch of dirt. And you can see uh, what appears to be like foliage, like a small tree. Okay. okay. And you okay. don't remember um, why that's significant. You just know okay. that. This was a cave for Neuralis, and that that okay. would be significant. And let me get you a wheel tree. It's not that big. Okay. Um, okay, guys. I think we uh, follow either. They can't the see it, but you can. Just further. Oh, record. interesting. Okay, so then I'll point to the tree, almost as if like, duh, the party should be able to see it. And I say, guys, we should follow the tree. What? And Are I like. Looks at Jean? <laughs> I step over this direction. I'm assuming it's not ice, right? No, it's it's a pool of water. <laughs> okay, then. How do you? I'll. I'll find out. I jump. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try to maneuver to over to this tree. I do send Polly to uh, sit so on the So when cart. you jump in the water, I want you to roll survival. Motherfucker. That's a 13. So when you jump in, the water is drastically different in depth than what you anticipated it to be. Okay. Uh, you immediately start thinking you're under. Oh. Um, but you uh, are able to swim and surface. So you're kind of like treading water where you are right now. Yeah, I'm doggy paddling. Birdie paddling. <laughs> Birdie paddling. And did you uh, say you sent Polly away? I just sent Polly to like the top of Jean's cart because uh, I know okay. Polly can't swim. And then, uh, obviously, I said to the party, well, duh, let's follow the tree. And I'll just try to maneuver over to the tree, even though, you know, they can't see it. Do I see, like, a hole or anything that he's going to? 
Uh, no, from what you see, you just see uh, the background is kind of like it's just the wall of a cave. And uh, the closer you get, you can see the small foliage of the tree peeking out from behind the uh, two large boulders in the middle of the puddle. And uh, mm. he's swimming in between the two large boulders towards the tree at this point. Not wanting Gravy to re-experience a near-death experience, I look back towards the others and say, I guess I'll go with him. <laughs> and if no objections are raised, I jump in after him. Well, step in and then swim. I'll pull the cart up closer. I'm just going to stand here and watch out from each direction. And if you guys find something over there and you want us, me to jump in, I will. When you guys approach the uh, tree, you notice that there is no ground around the tree. The tree is directly an offshoot up out of the water. Um, you don't seem to perceive anything behind it. Okay. So I guess communicating with Harry, I'll say... So, should we go upwards, or should we go leftward, or, yeah, leftwards, then? I'm not sure I don't see anything. Oh, goodness. Um, Just to could, clarify, can I Frigate, did you mean there's, like, nothing behind the tree? Like, there's, an, like, an opening, or, like, just rock wall? It's just rock wall. Okay. There's a distinct corner, but there's nothing in it. Can I uh, stalactites, trace the the roots as kind of a directional guide, like, you know, looking for some sort of hint as to the best route forward? Do you want to dive to try to, to trace those roots? Is that what you mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, roll athletics and see how far you can dive. Okay. Goodbye, fellas. It's Six. Nice one. Can I help him? I'll burn or like, him. you can both Harry, drown me. Die and... I can't see anything. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'll dive with him. And well, Harry, Harry, you have, do you have dark vision. You have magical no, light. No, but I'm glowing. Yeah. Okay. You have magical so, light. Yeah. So when Harry is glowing and goes underwater, um you can see better that uh, just as you get deeper, you're comfortable kind of going down about uh, 12 feet uh, before you would need to come back up and resubmerge. And as far down as you go, you just see the thick, uh, the thin stalk of like a sapling tree just going downwards. There's nothing else that you can see and it just kind of disappears into, you know, the refractive fog of water mm. below the glow. So you have no idea how deep this is. I'll wait for Harry to resurface and see what he says. Surface? What do I see? Uh, you both see the same thing. Oh, I can see the tree now? Yes. Oh. <laughs> By Jove, you've, there is a tree. No, you've always been able to see the tree. Just you were too far away before. Oh. When you guys were down sense. here, yeah. you could, because yeah, yeah. he was up here. Yeah, and you have, like, limited okay. vision. That makes sense. Okay. And the brighter yeah. that, you know, the closer you get, the more everyone can see it. You're lighting up that corner. Okay. Well, uh, I'll look at Harry and say, I guess we just go forward, go straight up. Can we climb the tree? Yeah, you know, it's the, on the tree. From what you see on the tree, it just appears to be like a sapling emerging from the water. The the offshoots of its branches are about as big around as one of your fingers. It's, oh, it's just okay, a very okay. small kind of like bush erupting from it. Uh, okay. I would say above the water, it's maybe four or five foot tall. Okay, so I say to Harry. Okay, this is an offshoot of the great tree of Neuralis, so we should either go up or we should go left, but either way, we'll probably find clues continuing, but we should tell Gail and Jean. What is up? What are you 
Oh, no. you mean up like f okay? I was thinking climb the damn wall, and I'm like, no, no we can't do yeah. that. There appears to be uh, offshoots to the cave. Yeah. Left On or north? <laughs> Sorry for the uh, west you guys or can north. See better. Literally go straight down. You guys can see better now because Harry is glowing. Um, you can see uh, the northern part, and you oh, see no. oh. you see a glowing. Um, piece of metal that's kind of reflecting Harry's light. Oh, what is it? I guess I'll s swim. I can see. we swim out? I can see it. <laughs> Holy shit. Like you guys, have you guys taken this pack livid for COVID? No. Wait, it's sorry, fucking but... awful, okay? I heard I uh, it someone I knew took it and he had like bloody stool. It oh fucking shit. gives you the... It's like sucking on an aspirin or a prednisone. It's just like the worst bitter fucking Ew. chemical taste in your mouth 24-7. And no, like nothing yeah. you drink gets rid of it. Like it's like you're salivating that and it has been like six days and it is driving me crazy. I don't that sounds that. awful. That's terrible. It's like swallowing hairspray. Uh, anyways, Ew. so the closer you get to it, you guys, uh, everybody but Jean can see it right now. It appears to be a golden statue. Okay. At the base of the statue, uh, as you get closer, you can see an inscription on the bottom. Do we uh, recognize the inscription? Any of us? I don't know. Be just looking it. to see what your languages are because you're all a different ship. I got That's common dwarvish and orc. Flesh to common dwarvish elvish halfling. So Harry, you elvish. can you can read that in Elvish it says Neralis. I think it's this way because this statue says Neralis. So as you approach, it is a statue of what appears to be an elven male. Well, let's go. He's, he's holding uh, kind of what looks like a lance. There's a, two white doves sitting on his shoulders. He has a high ponytail. It's about six feet ish tall. Old look. I can respect that. Does the cave continue past him or is it like a dead end? Just behind him, it's just a flat wall. It is just this very small statue. It's very, like, neglected of him uh, kind of notched into that corner. And there is nothing past him. I brush the dust off the statue. See if there's anything else that we're missing. Uh, from everything that you see on the statue, it just, they're kind of wear and tear of time. Kind of like little marks, but nothing that implies there's anything of value. Do we continue on or find a different path, Harry? You said this was a dead end? It doesn't appear to be anything behind him, no. Well, can we can we inspect the, the statue to see if like, there's any kind of like levers on it or anything like that? Or... Yeah, Harry, go ahead and roll oh, investigation. Harry, it might be some sort of illusion. You should run into the wall. I gently touch the wall and inspect it. Uh, you don't see anything on the wall, wall just dust, cold stone. Uh, Gail, you notice that the statue is wearing on his left hand, uh, what appears to be a ring set. Um, on his right hand, there's another ring set with a clear jewel. Um, but the ring set on the left appears to be missing any kind of jewel. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to be meta or not because I've played a lot of games. <laughs> but I, I feel like there's something missing from this statue. And if uh... What about that gem we found in the box? Voila. Yes. Maybe. Oh my fucking Possible. god. That is genius. 
Gene, this guy, Gene. This, this guy gets inside I, information, Moreau. No. <laughs> I never tell I him. I forgot about that. I can Venmo you five bucks, Cricket. <laughs> Actually, I can't. I can't because I don't have Venmo. But or five bucks. Or five bucks. I take yeah. Cash App. I, yeah, we don't have that in Canada. We have our own inbuilt system because we're smart. Yeah, same in Australia. So, Gene, do you want to try your idea? Uh, no, I'll just stay back. <laughs> okay. You want to hand one of us the uh, stone and, and I'll I can try. I yep. mean, go for it. If it in case it attacks me or something, and here you might want to step back just a little bit yeah. in case I take a big hit to the head. I'm gonna go hide between these pillars here. I mean, not like too far back, so you got my back, but <laughs> I got your back by not being right behind your back. Smart. All right, so I slowly approach and I try uh, taking the stone from the box and placing it on, into the uh, statue's hand, uh, the ring ring set missing. Um, I can see. When you place the gem into the ring set missing, it fits perfectly, oh, and shit. it kind of flash before your eyes reseals itself what? and what? it begins to glow the glow spreads through the metal the statue it starts to emit kind of a purplish bluish aura from it and then the aura disappears as soon as the aura disappears the rings from both hands fall off of the statue as well as the lance that it's holding. What? You broke it. <laughs> okay. Free stuff. Um, so, uh, you see, it said to drop the lance and the rings. Uh, the it stones drops, from the, the statue rings? drops the lance and drops the rings, and the eyes of the statue close. So it's not watching anymore? <laughs> Quickly, <laughs> rob it, rob I, it. I slowly <laughs> reach down, I grab the, the two rings and uh, the lance, and uh, I, I walk back over to the party and show them what I have found and ask if anybody knows anything about rings and lances. Uh, Are the I rings mean, and lances magical? I could look into their maybe innate magic, but I don't have that identify spell anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not a lance, it's a long sword, sorry. Oh. Any long sword or or it's uh, a plus four long sword. Oh damn. Oh shit. You tell you. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? What's wrong with it? Is that a two handed Something weapon or a one handed weapon? A long, a it's long, versatile, a long so you can use it both ways. Uh, either or, yeah. So would it? I'm just curious. Would it work for a class like mine, or yeah. not? Okay. Yeah, it's a martial weapon. You could use it. Yeah, and you just two-hand it, and you still get great weapon okay. master from it. I would still. Okay, that's that was what I was curious about. All right. So have um, you picked up the items? Yes, I'm holding them. Um, <laughs> a little worried about holding them, but I, I'm not Do gonna like attune or anything like that because I'm. I don't know what this is. I, I don't as soon know. as you pick the items up. You begin to glow. Ooh, the shiny. light blue aura. Oh. And then he disappears. Um, who, the gal or the statue? Gal. Oh, shit. Um, oh, gal. Where are oh, you? Shit. Gal, blink twice if you can hear us. We can't see him. I am your god, him. Gravy. <laughs> I am your god. Worship me. <laughs> oh, my god. It's gal, guys. We killed him. <laughs> Am I still like? Uh, am, can they hear me, or am I just like gone, gone? I can't hear you. <laughs> uh, I forgot to unlock the front door. Um, I get it. Avery's gonna be here, and they're also really fucking late again. These dang kids. So am I invisible, or? I'm gonna go to the finished? bathroom real quick. So if you guys want to take a quick break. All right. Ten minutes okay. or five minutes. Just five. Okay. Okay. Go to the bathroom.
Welcome back. Well, not really, but kind of. Such a fucking weird. What? A cat. Oh. That was good timing. <laughs> Just putting my headphones on, I'm like, you're so fucking weird. <laughs> so you do have the ability to get identify if. After yeah, it's just them. it's just uh, after learning, you know, Cricket wants us to use like the materials, like truthfully, because some people let that slide and whatever. It was like, okay. fuck, it's like a hundred gold per. Oh yeah. So I was like, why don't we wait a little bit and then? And then once we have money, then you could. Continue. Yeah. Cause we broke. <laughs> yeah. Plus, on top of that, it kind of makes sense. It's like you can't know every magic item right away. Like. All right. You know, well, but yeah, I, I don't scary know. when she was like, like, it's a plus four. I'm like, if that's a plus four, no one should fucking use that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was playing Curse of Strahd the other night, and that's why I'm like worried about everything right now. Like, I don't, <laughs> yeah, you have that true fear. I'm like, this guy is actually like, and he's doing the whole like Sherlock Holmes shit right now. <laughs> I'm nervous because everything yeah. we did was like potentially going to kill us. Like, one guy walked into a room. And yep, spoilers yep. for anybody that's ever not played Curse of Strahd. And so uh, mute me if you need to. But um, he walked into a room and like a spirit just like yep. fucked with his head and then like hit him with psychic damage and just dropped him. We were He was a level one. Yeah. just dropped him. Yeah. And he screamed. Oh, yeah. he, he, went, he went in the room by himself. And yeah. We ran to him to help him. And uh, we had a cleric that like healed him, luckily. But was like, this in Death that, House? Yeah, well, I think it's the house of Lumineth, Lumineth, or something like that. And we're all, we're only on the first floor, so don't spoil anything for me. But um, and we pretty much searched the whole first floor. But under the porch, we found an axe, and then like they, uh, one of the characters like identified it or whatever, right, cast uh, that on it, and and uh, we found out it was cursed. And now I'm I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I know it has yeah. nothing to do with this particular world, but it has impacted my mind. Oh <laughs> yeah, I've, uh... <laughs> I've had a lot of friends play it, and everything is just, yeah, death house. Like, yep, it's made me more cautious. Let's put it that way. Like, yeah. we walked into another room, and there was there was this harp. We and, played and... Strahd together, yeah. Oh, you guys played Strahd, lol. Uh, yeah. We walked into another room, and there was like a harp, and and the guy walked up. He's like, "I want to play the harp." I'm like, "I'm leaving the room." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, as you should. <laughs> From what I know, everything. Every room has something. <laughs> yeah. Do you Every back? room. Yeah. All right. So Gel has disappeared. Gel, blink twice. I can't see you. Can they? Can they hear me or just not see me? Are you talking? That's what I want to know if they can hear me. Can you make noise, please? Hello. So I can, try. can you can hear, hear me? <laughs> can you see me? He's dead. <laughs> Am I alive? I'm assuming y'all can't hear me, so I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> I still can't hear him. You 
guys cannot hear him. Uh oh. Oh he no! He hears nothing where he is. All right, let's try left, quick. <laughs> All right, let's go to the left room. We have to find him fast. Did an opening open behind the statue, or is it just no? Nope, it's still just wall. I assume the rings are still on the floor. No, everything he, he picked up. He picked up, oh, everything. He picked up everything. The rings okay. and the sword he took, yeah. And then he disappeared. Uh, left it is, guys. Right. Uh, um, I'll lead the way because I can see. So when you uh, go into the left kind of offshoot, uh, you can see like maybe like 10 feet down, there's a, a dark boulder. Um, when you reach the boulder, uh, you realize there is nothing. It's a dead end. Yeah. Oh no, guys, to the right! How big is the boulder? I touched the boulder. Yeah. Uh, the boulder's about, like, five feet tall. Oh, okay. Heavy you would have just been assuming there was a turn or something behind it or around it, but when you got to the end, there is nothing. What kind of boulder? Just a small piece of rock. Nothing special. Okay. To the right. To the right. Uh... So when you guys get to uh, the right, you don't even have to go down it to see that it's a dead end. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. What do we do? Do we jump in the water? Do we run into the statue? I mean, are you still pulling the cart? Yeah, back and forth like crazy. Yeah, he's just spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to say, try touching the dead end on that side and then try touching the dead end on the... Sorry. I carefully inspect the boulder if someone wants to carefully inspect the left. Oh, you're or inspecting right. the boulder? Yeah, okay. I'll inspect I'll the boulder. Gene, forget the card for now. Go, go touch Maybe the statue. Maybe splash some of that water on that guy in case it's holy water. Maybe we have to swim. We might everybody, have to swim for sorry, it. Everybody, touch like the crazy. walls. Yeah. Three, two, one. Touch the wall. Put your I head against the, the wall. wall. Well, we're fucked. Sorry, the dogs running are barking like, like crazy. Headless. Say crickets muted. No, we're running around like headless chickens. Sorry, I was talking to Avery real quick. You're fine. We're just freaking out. How dare uh, you? So, what are you guys doing? We're, we're all touching the north, east, and west walls synchronized, hoping that it does something. Or there are like Nothing illusions happens. or. I closely inspect the left end to see if there's anything that might look like a clue. Yeah, Roll okay. investigation. I do the same Everyone thing. Everyone who's inspecting. Hiya! Oh god. 21. Uh, you all are investigating and you all see nothing. There's nothing of any kind of implication that there's anything but stone. Guys, meet back at the center so we can panic together. Uh, Who has the greatest lung capacity? Let's uh, let's try submerging this guy in the water and see if that helps. Yeah, uh, let's. The statue or the dead, the almost dead priest. Almost dead priest, yeah. The almost dead priest. Yeah, let's see if it's holy water or something cool. Okay, I'll manage and supervise. You guys lift. <laughs> sure. As you guys uh, lift the priest, um. Who's lifting him? So, I lift one in and Jean lifts the other. Yeah, that's fine. And what are you lifting him with? His sheets. The, the, the bed sheets. sheets. Just the sheets? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and you're going to set the sheets and all down into the water, I assume? Yep. Yep. All right. As you do that, uh, are you holding on? Or is he sinking? What? Let's do <laughs> so I think we should try to keep him up. <laughs> so, what I want to do is, like, we'll... We'll use the cart. Because it's immediate drop off of, in the water. There's no like bank uh, to stand yeah, in or fine. wait in. So we'll okay. bring the cart up as close as we can. 
we'll take him out of the cart with the sheet so he's like next to the side and then we'll wrap the sheet around his chest that way we can both hold on and submerge him oh yeah and pull good him idea back like a tea bag we'll dunk him yeah we'll dunk him <laughs> all right so as and you I, are and I put my nuts on his face nice <laughs> are oh, any no. of you touching the water uh or just dunking the tea bag. I'm just dunking the tea bag. <laughs> yeah. That uh, good. Give him the old dunkerini. Who said good? Did so, Cricket say good? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Freak out! I mean, there's only one reason why I'd be asking, right? Yeah. No. Okay. Just check. Infected sores oozing all into this water pool. That's hopefully not connected to the water sources down the road. Oh, good. We've killed the whole town. <laughs> oh fuck! We might have killed the whole town. <laughs> Might kill the whole area. Who knows? Well, everyone reroll <laughs> their character. It's over. Reroll the continent. We'll go to a different one. All ogre. So, as you're dipping the tea bag. Mm hmm. You start to notice that um, some of the sores on the back of the priest's head and neck are uh, visibly less red. Nice. Ooh. Guys, it's working! <laughs> Keep dunking him. <laughs> Keep yeah, dunking him. No, it's working! <laughs> so, uh, the sores are starting to kind of clear up. Uh, but they don't reach a point where he's, like, waking up or anything. Okay, let's take him out. <laughs> uh, let's when you take him out, suspended. you're going to keep him in there or are you taking him out? Uh, let's keep like, him in there. I think we should, like, raise him so we can see if the sores, like, get worse. And then if they do, we'll just put him back in. Yeah, we'll lift the tea bag and check it. <laughs> As you lift the tea bag out. About 20 seconds later, the sores start popping back out. Okay. Bigger, thicker, and full of juice. Back Ew. in he goes. Can you not, Cricket? Come on. <laughs> so much. Jeans licks his lips. Yeah. Harry looks revolted, but holds on to the tea bag. Uh... Gravy, get some rocks so we can float him in here for a while. Wait, rocks? Yeah, we'll pin down the sheet so he can't oh. sink. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me collect some rocks. I guess we just use a cart, like time to the wheel or something. I'm Gail's clearly torn up about Gail's disappearance. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying as I pick up rocks. We need to keep the cart from rolling into the water at them. Yeah, that's true. We haven't forgotten about you, I swear. We just have <laughs> a rather imminent threat. What about who? Who? <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> Steve? Uh, I want to say Gary. Hugh Man? Yeah, it was like Gene Eric or something. <laughs> Slimer. Slimer. I'm sure it's of no consequence. Oh no, guys, we're already forgetting about what's his face. <laughs> what did he even look like? I see, he was blue. <laughs> he was an elf, right? So, what are you doing once you weigh down the priest? And... So, we're weighing make down sure the Make sure that his head's not. Yeah, make so sure he he's not see. drowning. Right. We're going to leave him in the water, essentially putting him in stasis. Um, I will take a closer look at the statue that's fallen to bits to see if I can reapparate um, Gel. But if that fails, I think I'll literally just pray to the rounds <laughs> for guidance. Uh, you can roll investigation on the statue. Okie dokie. 
a seven ton. The only thing that you notice is that the statue is uh, clasping its hands together now as to where it wasn't before. It's not holding anything any longer and it's not wearing any jewelry. Uh, I copy the clasped hands and I and I begin to pray to Neralis. Neralis, please. These are the closest thing to family I've encountered since I ate my mom and dad. <laughs> Give me a sign. Show me, Gal. Bring me closer to your love. I mean, my love, or our light, or your death, or whatever you are. Uh, as you begin to pray, um, we go to Gel. <gasps> Gel, you are have found yourself essentially in the darkness, as if your eyes are closed and you cannot open them. Oh. Your body feels incredibly heavy, like you're sinking, and you hear a voice. Boom. Almost growling. Say. So you thought that you could steal from me. <laughs> Fuck. No, not at all. <laughs> um, we've only come here to help the, the town oh. priest. And uh, we hope that uh, we can save him and we were looking for Silence. For any divine inspiration or help that we might find, we, we found some information about this cave that maybe it could help the dead or help with the dead. And we have a loved one uh, of the local town that we've brought here. In the middle of you speaking, um, you experience like the sharpest uh, pain you've ever experienced in your life. Ow. You take six psychic damage. Okay. As you kind of yell, ow, you hear the voice boom again and say, I said silence. How dare you speak to me? You have been given permission nor the authority to enter my holy place and yet you attempt to steal from me some lame excuse I am the one who will speak in this circumstance I am the one that will give you a choice you have three items that you chose to try to take from me in my holy place, reserved for my priests and followers. Answer this first. How did you even find my holy cave? Um, we were researching about uh, holy areas and and uh, the area from the local mayor's library in the town to uh, Hartfelt. And so you come here to steal my precious belongings? I'm waiting to hear <laughs> you. Um, no, no, sir. Uh, we've come here to save uh, the priest. To save a priest? One of my priests? I believe so. Do you, do you know of him, of his worship? Let Reese. me see. His name's And Reese. he kind of stops and uh, he says, ah, yes, I can feel the presence. What has happened to my priest? He, he has become uh, infected of some kind with, uh, with, uh, 
again, whelping of uh, red and gold, and we believe it to be uh, a plague, abyssal plague. An abyssal plague affects the land. You just hear silence at this point. You can hear the sound of dripping water, though, now that you couldn't hear before. And it feels like it's silent for an eternity, for hours. And then the booming voice says again, I have decided to still give you a choice. You have acquired three items. All three you took without asking, selfishly, but in your pursuit was to help, to heal. And it was to save one of my priests in desperate need from the powers of evil. So your choice is, you may keep only one of the items that you took. You must leave the other two. One of those items will have to be sacrificed to save the priest. One of those items must be sacrificed to save yourself. And one of those items you may take with you. What is your choice? This is like a fuck, Mary kill with a god. <laughs> god. Uh, can I pray to Norales for guidance? Uh, you can, but you'll be doing it in your head. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Uh, Norales, um, I know I have not been a worshiper of you in the past. I have no direct uh, ties to any, any god at the moment, but um, I've seen your power, and I believe you to be of great divine power and uh, wisdom and uh, just God. And I just pray for uh, your guidance. And we came here for no ill will. And all we truly want is to help the priests. Uh, I pray for your wisdom and guidance. And you're just kind of met with continued silence. Okay. Did it? Did I? Um, you told me uh, above the table right now. You told me that um, the, before I came here that the sword was a plus four sword. Right. And the, the other ones were just rings. Was there anything about the rings that that I could tell? There's nothing. You don't know anything. Okay. You do know it is a plus four sword, though. Yeah. You had a like kind of a swing with it, had a good heft to it. You're confident it's going to inflict lots of damage. Yeah, but I don't want that to be my. I mean, I mean that's not necessarily my goal. My goal is to to help people. So mm -hmm. while you're thinking about this, um, met with silence and praying, we're gonna head back to the rest of the group. Okay. Um, Gravy, you're kind of met with silence with your prayer as well. So what are you guys doing? I'm looking around the cave for any clue as to where Gail might have gone while periodically checking on the priest to make sure say. he's not drowning and still healing. Yeah, I'll, I'll babysit Reese to make sure he's not going to drown or something. Ears, just for the record, normally in this circumstance, uh, because you're not with them, I would take you aside in another channel or something. So 
so you guys because you guys aren't together you can't share the same knowledge and stuff right right i'm sure they can't advise me i wish they could <laughs> they can't, there's nothing they can do uh from where they are like basically for you right now so that's why i didn't bother yeah when i was in when i was four years old i promise i won't steal again <laughs> <sighs> I saw that Snickers bar, and it was so good. It soured in my belly later. That Snickers bar was so good. There's just Go. sobs, like, echoing through the cave. Guys, Gal's not coming back. We should just leave. So are you guys just kind of, like, sitting there, twiddling your thumbs, watching the the priest barely kind of float? Half of his body sinking. Oh, guys, he's face down. <laughs> um, no. I take out uh, bah, 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 uh, some rope that I have, and I ask Gravy to cast light on it. And then I oh, no, to... don't hang yourself so we can see it, dude. I don't want to do this. Yeah, I'll cast light on it. And then I'm gonna. Uh, but it removes Harry's light, so it's that's on fine. the rope. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'll lower it into the water to see if I can see anything with uh, extra, whatever it is, twenty foot of rope, sixty foot of rope. Whoa! Can I give him inspiration? That's like the biggest brain idea I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I might use that for the rest of my life. Holy shit! It's like a big glow stick. So wait, what are you doing? So I got a. I... You're making a big glow stick with the rope. Yes, and I'm lowering yeah. it into the water to see if I can see anything down there. I'm okay, sorry. and how far is it? I I just have rope. I don't know if you told us 50 how, feet. how big it is. It's yeah. usually 50 feet. One million feet of rope. You can't see anything, so... Fuck! <laughs> it was still I, a good idea. I'm covering your eyes, G. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dark. <laughs> it was a very good idea. Damn it. Uh, dang. Well, as long as the priest is healing, I guess, guys, uh, we just wait and hopefully Gel comes back unless... I mean, do you guys want to fuck with that statue? Because that's how Gel disappeared. Not really. Uh, I'm going to go outside really fast and grab some of the food they put on the other cart and just bring it in so we I'll, can snack. So just so that you this. know, it's been... Um... It's been about an hour at this point since Gil's disappeared. Oh, okay, okay, nice. okay, okay, okay. How's the priest doing? Uh, the priest is still uh, sores and whatnot, but he's kind of like, excuse me, t tossing and turning, like kind of oh. moaning. Something is working at the very least. Maybe he could at least heal enough to tell us what happened. Well, you don't know if he's, you don't know if he's healing or not yet. Um, because you just pulled him out, right? No, we he's been have... in the water the, for the whole hour, basically. Right, but but Gene just pulled him out, correct? Um, no. I thought you said you pulled him out and dipped the rope in. Nope. Just oh no no no! no. He him. just dipped the rope to see the bottom of the okay, of the, of the water source. Yeah. If the priest is still in the water, the parts of him that are submerged in the water are um looking more similar to like healing skin like extra lots of extra layers and whatnot the parts that are not in the water are still very much sores essentially like his face we weren't able to because we didn't want to like drown him can we so his it? head isn't like perfectly submerged essentially can we like attach a cup to a stick i was gonna say can we like... baste him like a turkey yeah let's <laughs> baste him <laughs> <laughs> yeah and we yeah we don't want to touch the water right so yeah i don't trust that water okay hold on let me see if i have any useful spells i have mage hand so yeah we can use a a cup and mage hand and i'll just oh that's a good idea i'll just splash him with water i'll waterboard him for like a little <laughs> bit give him a second right. to breathe every once in a while so while you guys are back. basting the priest <laughs> waterboarding waterboarding please please in the pool uh we're gonna go back to iris who uh i'm sorry gail who has been um gail it feels to you like you have no concept of time any longer you've been you know in your own thoughts kind of unconscious and conscious uh still with no vision 
um, you have no idea, you know, what time of day it could be or if you've been asleep or how long you've been asleep. Um, but there's just silence. All right. So I'm going to ask, because um, I, I prayed in my head before, uh, I'm just going to say that I'm, I'm leaning towards uh, asking for the sword, but only in into a sense is for to protect people of your faith um and uh for any from any other potential abyssal breakouts or uh, abyssal monsters i mean at, at the end of the day all i want to do is save i do not want to harm so i'm could could you advise uh if any of these items would be best you uh, utilized for protecting those who serve you And you hear the booming voice kind of enter again and say, I have issued to you as one last grace a choice in what you keep and whether you survive and whether the priest survives. I can make any choices that I like. You are left with these three choices. Without them, you will be suspended in time. Okay, above the table. <laughs> so my choices were um You have that... to you have to sacrifice two, you get to keep one. Okay. And if I set the two of I sacrifice two you sacrifice, one is going to go um as a sacrifice to uh whatever uh evil power has infected the priest. And one will stay with uh, in the realm with whomever you're speaking with right now, essentially. So. Okay. You don't know where they're going to go, but he has told you uh, okay. it is one will be going to stay with the priest. One stays to you, one goes to offset the balance. Good and evil. Mm -hmm. So, you make those choices. Okay. And until I, you do, you are suspended I, I, in time. I, uh, I, I choose uh, the sword and hope that it has some holy power to, to, to despite evil. And the other two items that you sacrifice? They, they, they go to save the priest. And one stays with him. Right? One stays with him and one goes to whatever the evil entity is that has infected the priest. Oh, it's I got to pick which one goes to? He, yes, he's going to sacrifice it to that power. So you choose. It's like choosing what goes to the enemy, what goes oh. to him, and what goes to you. Oh God! So and Cricket, you said it's two rings and a long sword, right? Two rings and a long sword. One of the oh, rings had I a see. clear crystal. One had a black crystal that you replaced, and the sword that he was holding. Give the evil guy the ring of wish. <laughs> God no! I was just gonna um, say, um, Ira, just so you remember, we got that the black gem that you fixed the ring with from the priest's church. The that was the black gem or yeah. that was the white. Gem? That was the black one, yeah. Okay, um, I, I give the black gem to heal the priest. So you're taking the ring with the black gem. To heal the the the, the, the ring with the black gem to heal the priest. So you're I mean, only was, allowed to take sacrifice. one. No, I'm not taking it. He's I'm, taking the sword. I'm, sac I'm taking the sword, sacrificing okay. the black gem ring to fight the evil or heal the priest. Okay, so I think I'm still not being clear on this. Okay. <clears throat> One of the items that you are sacrificing, you are sacrificing to the enemy. One of the items is staying wherever you are. You don't know what's going to happen with it if mm -hmm. it's good or bad 
you just know that it's not in your possession. It's not accessible. And then you get to choose a third to take with you. And whether it heals the priest, whatever you used it for, that's your choice. You don't know any of that. Yeah. Your choices are to sacrifice two, one definitely goes to the enemy, and one you get to take, get to take with you. Okay. So I am taking the sword. I'm sacrificing the rings. The black ring goes to the enemy. Does that sound right? Did I? If you feel comfortable with that, yeah. It's whatever, it's whatever you think. When you make that decision, yeah. you are back in the cave holding okay. the item that you chose. And Harry's image was very apt to how I felt. <laughs> nice. Awesome. I'm back. Oh, so you're standing in front of the uh, statue as you kind of sat back in, um, holding the sword in your hands. We're all just crying and basting the priest in the water. <laughs> <laughs> and remember that one time I yelled at him when I died, but he actually <laughs> saved me. It was really just Harry's fault. What? I walk up behind Gravy and put my hand on his shoulder and say it's going to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Gal, is that you? Demon! Yeah, it's, it's me, Gravy. Gal, yeah, blink twice if it's you. <laughs> <laughs> and you just see Gal, like, like with one hand on his head, and you know, like he has a, a migraine or a headache. Oh. Uh, well, we we think we cured the priest, maybe. I don't know what you were doing. Lollygagging. I wiped the snot from my face. <laughs> and uh, I explained to them everything that happened to me in the vision. Um, and uh, that I met Norales, and um, he offered me a choice, and I only can pray that I made the right choice. Um, I explained everything in detail to them. I know you did the best you could. And hopefully this all resolves itself. I would also like to clarify that you don't know if you met Norales or not. Oh, I, I assume I did. You assume yeah. you met Norales. Because he <laughs> wow. said it, this was his cave and... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What not? Wow, was god fighter, person. god meter. Who's ne What's next? Evil beater. Hold on, I gotta write that down. Write that down, write that down. Oh fuck! I forgot it, Harry. What did I say? Make uh, a great poem. Uh, something about beating someone. Okay, beat your meat. Beater? Cross the no, street. No, that's not right. With your own two feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, we're glad you're back, and you have a sword in your hand. That's a cool sword. What does the sword look like? Uh, I'll, uh, let me give you a picture here. Okay. Well, guys, we might have stopped an abyssal plague. Or I might I've... have made everything worse, but... <laughs> oh, yes, you, you, you gave something to... The enemy, maybe? But we, we, we don't even know who... That was the trade of balance. But we don't even know who the enemy is, I guess. But I guess that's not bad. I don't quite who... know what to make of it. I mean, I didn't think... I don't know what you guys would have done in my situation, and I can ask you now in hindsight, but I, I didn't want to give the sword... I mean, I'm a barbarian. I, I, I think of the sword as a weapon. I don't want to give the weapon to the enemy. Makes sense. Um, and the rings to me, they were they. I knew nothing of them, so I I, I think it left me with a fifty fifty shot of which one to give them, and ultimately I decided to give them the one that was in the church, and I hope that's the right decision. Well, the right decision was bringing you back to us, and it seems as though you saved the priest to some extent we only healed him and you cured him so that's what we set out to do and anything more than that is just gravy 
<laughs> and and uh, at this at this moment, Gail looks over and notices the priest. I guess he's still in the water, and I'm, I'm just like shocked and going, "Are you drowning the man?" Oh no, no, we're just basting him and waterboarding him. Well, it sounds bad when you say it that way out loud. Is but all of his sores are gone. He, are he, they? He does look much better than he did before. What what does the water look like? I'm just curious right now. Is the water still as it was before, or is it darkened, or anything, or is it still okay? The water looks exactly the same as it did before. Oh yeah, don't touch the water, by the way. We think it's poisoned. Oh. How does the touch... tree look? How does the tree look? Is that what you the, said? The limb of the five-foot tree coming out, are the leaves still green and flood, you know? Yep, the tree looks exactly the same. Okay. So do you guys mm. have a handout of the Sword of Neuralis now? Uh... A handout, yeah. It's a, yeah. There's a picture plus four. No details. Where is that at? It's in um, journal at the top of your roll twenty uh, categories. You'll see chat. You'll see the library. It's you'll see journal. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Or your character. Oh, okay, shoes. there it is. Nice. And uh, I assume we know it's like a sword, but not too many details because we haven't like investigated it further correct right. uh okay cool well guys um oh sorry cricket sorry those are the only details yeah. it, is the priest looking better i don't know if that was confirmed uh the priest looks exactly the same as before uh, areas that are not touching the water are sores gold flex gross and the areas Even with that are uh, waterboarding? Kind of look... Uh, just any area that's not being touched is. If the water has been kind of splashing over his face, he's he's appearing, you know, fantastic. But if there's any edge that's not... Yeah. But he looks like he's healing. Mm. Maybe let's give him a dunk. Let's baptize him. <laughs> Baptize this boy. Uh, if you guys have some sticks, I can use my um, mage hand, and we can fully drown this bitch. <laughs> I don't know about fully drown. It was hyperbole, Harry. Come on, we've all drowned, haven't we? Uh, no, I don't believe so. No. Oh. Okay. I thought it was a rite of passage or something. Okay, never mind. Just ignore that. Here we go. Uh, I think we would do everything within the party's power to visibly remove any sores, such as keeping him submerged for livable periods of time, such as like 10, 20, 30 seconds. Um... So as not to accidentally drown the individual. But yeah, our entire goal now that Gel is back would to be to heal the priest and make sure that we don't lose the opportunity to heal him as far as... Unless the party is evil, you know. We've been evil this whole time. It's me, Spider-Man. We were the ones who poisoned the waterhole. Hello? Hey, Cricket. Can you hear us? Hello? Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, we just wanted to make sure the priest was fully secure and submerged without drowning. And now that Gel's back, just try to do what we set out to do of just healing the priest and making sure we don't squander the healing waters. Yes, I think I just flat out dropped from fucking Discord. Um, so what are you doing? So they've been more like more or less while Gail has been gone. He has been held up essentially with his head above the water. But I've been taking my mage hand and splashing water on his head and face. And uh, since we've noticed that some of the blisters have healed on his exposed body, we now want to like fully dunk him and like keep him under for like 10 seconds. So we don't like we don't want to drown him, but we want to get all the blisters as as much as possible healed. Now that Gel's back, our, our primary concern would be to help the priest. Okay. And I'm going to set up some tents. I guess we haven't slept. We traveled through the night. Yeah. Mm, good point. <laughs> So you guys are going to camp here then for a long rest? Probably, yeah. yeah. I think we have to. Uh, are you guys good with camping here while the priest recovers? Or would you? do you guys need anything else in the meantime? Or are you good? That's the best decision in case he needs more holy water. Yeah, and I, I'll try to bring the other cart here so we at least keep an eye on it. Mm-hmm. I asked Gene if he could make any uh, bacon jam sandwiches, if he still has any. <laughs> uh, I will consider it. <laughs> hey guys, if we're to take a rest, since we're out in the wild, it might be a good idea to um, take some watches. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I agree. it I can agree. be dangerous out here. We should always keep uh, one per... How long do we sleep for? Maybe it like eight-ish hours. So we each take like, what is that, a two and a half hour shift or something, whatever it adds out to, and we, we rotate through the night. Yeah, I was also going to say the person on watch should also keep basting the priest. Yeah, keep basting <laughs> yeah. them. He might get a little wrinkly, but he's going to have to deal with it. <laughs> True. Better that than dead. Yeah. Okay. So we do that. All right. We and then that. let's take a, an actual 10 minute break. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay.
I'm back. Back when everyone else is. Yeah, I'm here as well. I'm desperately hoping that that water supply is contained. <laughs> that would be awful. But. My guess would be the fact that it's healing him, it probably cures it, like, in the water itself. Since I got a second, I will actually go to the bathroom real quick. BRB. What up? Hello. AOG. 
Where are you at in terms of location? IRL? Yeah, IRL. Okay, I was going to say, I'm, I'm right there. <clears throat> yeah. Um, we're in Colorado. Okay. It's like the dead center of America. Yeah, and you came back to... I'm sorry, you came to America from Australia, right? That's right. And that was like five, six years, ten, ten how long ago was Ten that? years ago now, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Funny to think it was all from video games. Crazy, right? Yeah. It's crazy how, you know, you probably heard about it from other people, like third party or whatever. Like, you never actually hear about the actual person. Um, but since Cricket and I got together or whatever, I've heard it from people directly, like, so many times. Oh, yeah, I met my husband in WoW or, or whatever. I'm like, Jesus. Mm. Yeah, I've run into it so much, too. And, like, at first we didn't. But, like, even the immigration person that we handled, like, nine years ago said that it was really common and the amount of people i've heard of that have either dated long term had kids with or married people from our age crazy <laughs> something about that game just a horny game true i'm back welcome back what game sword Art change. Oh god, yeah. Is it like down completely or is it still up in like Korea? So the US version is gone officially, uh, but there's still the private server that's in Canada and then there's another one um, that's in the US, but it's using like the version like 1.0 or something. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, the uh, the official US servers are all gone. Which is crazy because people have spent like tens of thousands of dollars in that game for them to share I know, the right? servers. Yeah. And a Over Western, a damn sloth glider? Yeah. And a Western developer wouldn't do that. Like um <laughs> like I don't even know what's that game that Willem plays. But yeah, there's like some MMOs that are like thirty years old and they still have servers. Um, to play on. Mm -hmm. It's just because Korea was like, well, we're not making as much money, so we'll just kill the Western publisher. I, yeah, I think it's a little bit too, like, that separation between Asia and America, but also yeah. the idea of, like, well, we're going to drop uh, Arc Age 2 in the next few years, so whatever. Yeah, that too. I'm sure. And they'll do the exact oh. same thing with it. Yep. Yeah, give it another 10, 15 years, it'll just be a different game entirely. But they're going to cash in so hard on the nostalgia of it, and it, people's memories are so short that they'll just be, like, so hyped about our gauge and forget that they lost their tens of thousands of dollars and all the bullshit that they fucking did. Yeah. Apparently Shino didn't, because he just said that, since I brought up the Sloth Glider, we have to divorce. True. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's I think I only spent money Sloth on Glider. on the token you needed to subscribe, or whatever, and then eventually... You could make monies off the tokens, I think. Oh, yeah. The Apex. Yeah. The Apex yeah. yeah, the Apex. Oh, man. Yeah, one of the fresh starts uh, we did, I basically just spent all my money buying Apex from the uh, auction house because it was so cheap in terms of where it was going to be. Obviously, like, 50 yeah. gold was all of your money, uh, but that's, you know, all they could I mean, that was pretty it. negligible in the long run right. of the economy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, when you fucking cornered some random item and you're like, oh, everybody needs this. Yeah. So you farmed, like, a fuck ton of it, made, like, hundreds of gold, and you're like, okay, I guess I'll just buy Apex because there's, like, real-life value. Right. <laughs> yeah. to exactly. Yeah. That's the entirety of what I did for yep. years. <laughs> yeah, was I was like, damn. Yeah. My, my friends always joke of, like, imagine what we could do if we... <laughs> Wanted to gear cancer. <laughs> like, oh my god! I, I say that all the time. Like, can you imagine the amount of shit that people did in Arc Age if they tried this hard at life? Like, I would want every single one of them like on my team. Uh, yeah. World's top scientists and engineers <laughs> wasted on Arc Age. True. Oh no. 
the night. And there's just me. It's like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but everyone's having fun, so. <laughs> yeah, I was, like, making potions for... Sheena was my first friend and helped me, and everybody else was taking advantage of me badly. I was, like, <laughs> grinding my ass off to try to afford these, like, ten silver glass bottles to make alchemy stuff, to level my alchemy. And oh. I was just, I was feeding everything I made to Grant, the guild lead. And he never offered me anything in return. He just said I had to send it to him. And what like I had never played an MMO before, so I was so dumb. And like I had no money ever. I didn't even have gear for like the first like half a year. Uh, that's funny. I do remember uh, us grinding a bunch of dungeons to get you gear. I was uh, I was very good at the economy and of managing people, but I had no idea yeah. about PvP or anything. Yeah, that was like the only thing I enjoyed. I was like, I oh. fished. Yeah, that was pretty fun. You can kill people. I just needed my donkey. <laughs> my little donkey. Oh yeah, the donkey. Oh flink. my god, actually real time walking fucking materials yeah. <laughs> to your friend's house. Just to build a fucking house. Oh my god. Riding the Taking fucking hackney one carriage. That's about to expire. That's how you know you're poor when you're gonna ride the fucking hackney. Yep. Oh my god. Good. Oh, it's so painful. <laughs> it was the first game that was like fully fleshed out, like world where you had, you know, ocean, land, and air, like everything, you know. So it was yeah. unique at its time. It definitely oh, was we unique. We were so into it. It was so fun. I had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It was fun game. I would have never met you guys. I would have never married G. Mm. I wouldn't be playing D and D right now. Like the entirety of my life would be different. Yeah, that's very true. That's, that's how crazy. World of Warcraft was with me and Chino. Yeah. I think it was like that for a lot of people. Yeah, and they're dropping like Dragonborn now or something. I get emails like every day about it. Yeah, I got a bunch of ads. Yep. I'm like, I'm not going to play this fucking game. <laughs> If I was going to play it, it would have been like 15 years. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll get a second wind on MMOs when I retire. I'll be that old guy still playing MMOs. 90-year-old mm. sh shouting at people <laughs> in raids. Get what your shit together. <laughs> we had one of those in our guild. Yeah, like, we had an older yeah. dude. Right? <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Joe, that's Joe. right. And then we had yeah, asshole. he was Shino's friend. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, it's funny. You have the time when you're young or when you're really old. That's the sad thing, you know? <laughs> <to do laughs> that kind of stuff. Stupid. But I'm glad we have this. It's the way for us still c to connect and get together and pay any It's the in between. Work. Yeah. I'll always have the internet. I mean, the problem with, like, if we any of us really wanted to play an MMO, you, you know how much time it takes, you know, to really stay at the top of the curve and be, you know. And you can't yeah. because people cheat anyway, so it's just, mm -hmm. it's not even fun, like. Yeah, or RMT, like real money trading and shit. Yeah. And uh, right. there's always those dudes. So, I changed the VPN. Hopefully my Discord stops being dickhead and... You guys are taking your long rest. And shifts. Uh, yep. All right. So I want to uh, take this time to... Uh, uh, we enter Gel's mind, and you are met with a uh, traipsing... A uh, woman seems to be limping towards you. You find yourself in darkness. All around you is ash and ember, smoke burning from fire. Uh, it is dark out. And you see this woman kind of lumbering towards you like she's injured. Uh, she appears to be young, like late 20s, blonde hair. Um, she's crying and covered in soot. Is she, uh, uh, does she look elven? 
Like the purple she does look elven. She has the pointed ears of an elf that you notice as closer that she gets to you. She kind of reaches out to you and says, uh, please help me, please help me. I, 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 I go to her to try to help her. Is so as you any, go to you okay? approach her, yeah. as you go to approach her, your legs won't move. You look down and realize that your legs are up to the knees in muddy ash and that your boots are stuck in the ground. You cannot move. You're effectively planted. Um, the closer she gets to you, she starts to smirk and her smile turns into uh, black liquid across her face. It's ever shifting and kind of moving her hair turns black. It's long and stringy. She is partially bald. Her face contorts into moving smoke and shadow, and you hear her begin to cackle. The closer she gets to you, the larger she gets. She's looming over you. Her fingers, the dead nails, drag along the sides of your face. There is a horrible smell emitting from her. It's the same smell that you smelled from the priest. It's the smell of death. She leans over you. And you see the black blood from her lips fall, splattering across your face. You're trying to wipe it off. And then you wake up. I wake up and go, hey! Real loud. And try to see if it startles anybody else awake that's near me. Or who's on guard? When you wake time. up, you do not feel rested. Mm-hmm. I was gonna suggest before we went to sleep that Gel try to attune, but I guess that happened. Can we? Can I still do that, or is it too late for that cricket? Uh, no. I'm sorry, it was too late. Okay. Um. I wake up. I don't feel rested. Who's 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 awake right now? Who's on shift? I'd probably be on shift. Hey, are you okay? You were screaming and sweating really hard. I just didn't want to bother you because I didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> uh, no, I just had this horrible nightmare. Um, I, I don't know if it was real or not, but uh, I explained that this uh, woman who started to look like a, a elven lady in need with blonde hair was coming to me. I tried to help her. I couldn't. And uh, that, you know, the whole transformation and everything. And the um, whole dream to gravy. I say to you, and honestly, this is just a Hail Mary. I was like, oh, that, I don't know. Maybe that's like the goddess of pain. Remember Neralis had some enemies or something? Um, maybe somebody's mad that you stopped them or maybe you're holding some sort of powerful relic now but either way this is the real world i think i pinch myself yes um well um is it still what time is it it's still pretty late i mean i think the rest of the guys are asleep except for gravy it's about three in the morning when you woke up okay uh well it's good timing uh Um, you want to take a a watch? Keep uh, a can can I keep watch and attune at the same time, or am I like in a zone doubt state? How does that work? When you attune, you're kind of like in a meditative state, so I wouldn't trust you to. Oh, okay. If I were you guys, I mean. Uh, I'll say to him then, hey, if you're not gonna go to bed, you know, just I'll I'll stay up for a little bit longer, do whatever you need to do, and when I you're think- ready, I'll go. You know, you I'll, come take me off watch. Okay. I, I think I would like to try to attune to this. I don't I don't feel like I've really rested very much. Um, uh, but uh, I think maybe it's worth the effort. If he dies, he dies, you know, to myself. <laughs> we'll see what, what happens if I try to attune to this thing. And thank Gravy for his offer to, to watch over me. All right. So you're attuning. Um, that will take eight hours to attune to. Oh, you guys okay with that? Or Well, they're asleep, so yeah. why don't you spend some time attuning to it, and then 
I'll ask G to take me off watch. Okay, soon. and you'll just cycle out at the or at the end of your time. Yeah, because okay. I'm kind of assuming you're like wired and you're not having a good night type of thing. No, so. there's no way I'm sleeping at this point. Yeah, so. yeah. How late you have the night is it? I'll go through the night if I need to. Uh, it was it's about three, 3 a.m. when he woke yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if we had discussed, but yeah, I'll go over to, um, Gene and and wake him up and say like, hey, it's your time for watch. I'm pretty tired. Uh, and then I'll let him know, like, hey, uh, what's his face? <laughs> Had a nightmare. <laughs> Keep an eye on uh, uh, Gail in case he, something yeah. goes wrong. And, uh, oh, yeah, Gene, don't forget to water base the uh, you got priest. It. Or water boards. Or... You got it. <laughs> So, uh, Dawn comes, you guys, the rest of you wake up. He's still attuning. Uh, let's see uh, the, remove the priest test. Yeah, see if the priest is awake after spending pruny. He's like pruny. Uh, yeah, super pruny. So the priest looks kind of the same, like he's got uh, multiple grayish layers of skin, like healing over um, where he had sores before. He doesn't have any visible sores except um, on his face where he's been on like dipped since you guys have been sleeping. Even with us basting him all night? Were you basting him all night? Yeah, I heard he would take based him during our shifts. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so yes, so then he doesn't have that. Okay. Yeah, we we <laughs> each basted him over time. Uh, so is he awake or still unconscious? Sorry, if I'm he's still unconscious. Okay. Um. Well, guys, uh, it looks like his sores have closed up. I don't know if it's in our best interest to wait until he wakes up, but. Harry Gels had a nightmare, so maybe he's not doing the best as well. So I'm not sure maybe. what the best move is now. Maybe we should wait a little longer and at least see if Gel can take a nap, a short rest, and check and maybe undunk the priest to let him unprune and make sure his sores don't come back. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we don't need to drop his face anymore. We can leave him at the edge until he wakes up. Yeah. Just in case his disease is still active or whatever you think. You're the expert, Harry. Export? Uh, yeah, I think we give him some time to make sure they don't pop back up. Yeah, I mean, it would be helpful to know if he woke up, but I mean, that's a tough call of like, we're not really sure how this fixes itself, right? So. No. I would say let Gil take a nap and we'll keep an eye on the priest. Yeah. I mean, we could take another long rest here, or we could just go back. I'm a little worried about staying here too long. S same. Um, hey, Harry, why don't you take a deeper look at the priest? Um, you're pretty proficient in medical stuff. Uh, and I'll give you a bardic, just to, just to make sure, I guess. Oops. I will try to take a peek yet. My medicine's actually terrible. Does someone else want to? I have a... I was going to say, why don't you try your disease vision and see if he still has it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've spilled yeah, lots yeah, again. yeah, yeah. Yep. That'll save us a lot of time. <laughs> yes. And Elk and Nap in the cart. I cast Detect Poison and Disease. Cool. And take yes. a peek at the priest and everyone in the party for good measure. Smart. So you um, see that within the priest is uh, still the aura of disease coming off of him. Uh, the red aura of the plague. Ugh. Um, he visibly looks like he's healing, but he's still very much affected in internally. Okay. 
We might need to. I make sure there is no pustules on his face, and then I slap. And just for the record, nobody else in the thirty feet radius dinged How's anything. How's the pool of water look? Good question. Uh, the pool of water looks the same as it has. The tree looks the same. The water well, like still the... runs clear. Is okay. it diseased? Oh, in the pool around him where he is, there is kind of like a like a leaky trail of residue, like aura mm. that's coming off of him, but it dissipates uh, quickly um, mm. distance-wise from his body. So the remainder of the pool looks uh, pure to you. Hmm. Interesting. We might want to get some water in bottles in case we need it at the town. And we might want to send a messenger back. Uh, how would we do that? One of us goes to town, it's or two Polly. of us. I don't or think Polly. any of us should split up. Polly, take a note. Let's go. Yeah. We uh, can yeah, tie a note for Polly. Polly. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I think after losing Polly a little bit, he's almost too protective of him right now. Yeah, um, and just picture asking that and just Gravy clutching the bird. Yeah, like, uh, Gravy's like, not. Was like, is like crunching the bird. <laughs> like, no, and Polly's like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, not Polly. <laughs> when I'm attuning, can I speak or am I like in a zone of meditation? You can't speak. Okay. Um, we might need to get the priest to drink some of the water. Oh. Since it's inside right now. <laughs> well, we should wait for him to wake up. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Otherwise, we yeah. will drown him. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, Gene, slap him. Yeah, slap him. Go, go, yeah. slap. Yeah. Gene, if you uh, want, I can, wear the I, can mage, I can mage slap him if you want. Oh, yeah, mage slap him. <laughs> mage pimp hand him. Yeah. Uh, I will mage slap him oh, to see if he wakes up. He does not wake up. Uh oh. Okay. Well, Gail, you said that you sacrificed one of. Th oh wait, Gail's meditating. Fuck. <laughs> um. Uh. Well, how about guys? Let's just wait it out with Gail because he looks like. He's not having a good time. That's fine. Let's... Do not give anyone unconscious anything by mouth, including water. <laughs> Damn. Why don't we have two people taking watch just in case something... I don't know. He says that some sort of vision came to him. Maybe Neuralis has enemies. From the book I read, it said the goddess of pain didn't appreciate Neuralis's lack of suffering. Probably just a nightmare. Probably no big deal, yeah. <laughs> Probably no big deal. No big deal. Uh, otherwise, we can put both of them on the cart and head back, but I just don't know if we've solved our mystery, you know? I'm worried that the pustules are just gonna come back if we leave. I guess so. Well, Gal's the only one who spoke to that god, so... Or that person. Maybe we should just wait for his recommendation. Yeah, let's wait for Gil to attune and go from there. Hmm. And keep okay. uh, basting the priest. Maybe put him in a new spot in the pool. <laughs> yeah, right. I guess back to teabag dunking. Back in the drink. He's really steeping. Uh, He's real I... steeping now. We would, we would definitely steep him until Gel exits his like meditation so you guys are just going to be basing um until he's done with his meditation having breakfast what where are you keep dun dunking basting eating okay is my so understanding gal finishes uh tuning um to his sword it feels lighter in your hands now that you have attuned to it You still, yeah. however, feel incredibly exhausted um, from not sleeping well. And now from meditating, um, you don't feel much better. If anything, maybe you feel worse. Mm, just from pure exhaustion, right? Yeah. 
Yep. You didn't seem diseased when I checked you. Okay. Um, all right, I'm attuned with this sword. It feels lighter in my hands. Uh, what are you guys doing? What did you guys do while I was zoned out there? Uh, well, we were waiting on you just to make sure the priest was okay. Harry says that there's still possibly some disease left inside of him, but we weren't sure if ner that person told you if we should wait or if he should be cured. I was under the impression that um that they would be they would be helped by sacrificing one of the rings. And um I'm hoping that's the case. Uh well I guess we can hope. Um I guess I, I don't Maybe we should uh, put some water in a water skin and just leave then. And I can check him when we get back. Well, now we know where the cave is. If anybody else is sick, we might have to run back here. But here's hoping that we caught a main source of the plague. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we have a lot of patient zero to address. True. Um, just to offer it up, uh, if we wanted to send... I, I don't know if this will work or not, but if we wanted to send... Um, word ahead to the town. We uh, maybe Gravy and I could work together on this. Um, Gravy has already stated Polly is off. No, <laughs> not, not, not not Polly. Um, but maybe we could find another wild bird out there that can work with us. I, I actually have the ability to speak with animals and ask them for favors. Oh shit! Not to mention we have a certified bird right here. <laughs> A small, well, it's a small favors, so I, I don't know. That's yeah. I think delivering a message would be a small but... favor. I think it takes um, uh, one action and ten minutes to do, and um, I could just let me see. Y'all can see what it does, but I can speak, speak with animals. animals yeah, yeah. It's a ritual. Well. I I don't disagree um, that we can convey this message, but I guess given the demonic nature, I just think it might be best if we travel together and travel fast. Okay. Because it might be, the situation might be that there are more sick people now, mm -hmm. and we're not aware of what's happening in the town. Well, but, how about how about we do both? How about we send a because it's gonna take us like potentially twelve hours or whatever it was to get there, right? Yeah. So we we start heading, but a bird can fly faster than us. We find a wild bird, send the bird ahead with yeah. a message, and then we start heading that way at the same time. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a great idea because I'd love for you to use that ability and gravy will give you bardic inspiration because he that's probably the only mechanical way I can support you with this. Well, I, I thought just like with your ability, because you like birds and your, you know, stuff like that, yeah. maybe we you could attract one to us to be able to speak to it. <laughs> you know, like, doo, 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 you know, when it comes down. I, I mean, yeah, I could I could try to do a bird whistle if we want to attract any birds. Yeah. I can communicate with them, but I can't speak to them like you right. can. I mean, uh, he just, says like, jealously. <laughs> <laughs> you just like, you know. They 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 are lured to you is what I'm thinking like more than they would be lured. They to respect him. Yeah. yeah, I mean yeah, I could be like, hey, Polly, are any friends in the area? Uh, Gel wants to speak to one of your friends, and uh, I don't expect Polly to speak English, but I just assume it's like your have pet. some kind of Harry. basic understanding. Yeah. Right. Oh, and while they're doing that, I want to fill some of the water skins that we probably drink from from the cart with holy water. Preferably far away from the priest. Mm. Okay. So are you going to speak to this bird then? Yeah. Yeah. So we, uh, Gravy and I, do you want to walk outside of the cave or call them into the cave? Uh, yeah, we'll go outside. We're in the div. At the entrance. Yeah. The div art, the, the, the forest. Um, okay. And so we I'll, I'll do a whistle while I send off Polly and see if Polly can get anything for you. Okay. Whistle, whistle. Does a bird appear? Cricket. <laughs> a wild bird. 
I just wanted you to actually whistle. Um, <laughs> I just have a noise gate, so it's like a... <laughs> a wild bird uh, comes and lands on Gravy's hand inside the cave. Hey, okay. I'm Sleeping Beauty. So I, I use uh, start using the uh, Speak with Animals ritual. And I am now speaking to a bird. Let's see, you gain the ability to comprehend and verbal communicate with beasts and duration of the knowledge and awareness of many beasts is limited in their intelligence, but animal beasts can give you information about the nearby. Uh, okay, and small favors. So, um, uh, hi there, friend. I want to know what a bird sounds like, Cricket. The bird <laughs> looks at you surprised that it can understand you and wonders, can you understand me? Yes, I can. It's delightful. This is the first uh, time I've I've used this ability, and you're my first uh, nature friend that I've been able to communicate with. Why do you want me to answer you? Um. See here, uh, my friends and I, we we came to this cave uh, to save one of the local uh, residents of the area, a holy man, and um, we. We are hoping to to uh, ask you if you could possibly help us and do a favor uh, for us to deliver a message to the. He needs a favor. Man. He needs a favor. <laughs> and uh, it maybe in return we could uh, offer you some food or a snack or treat that you would want. Treats? No. What's that? No. Uh, no. He said snacks. He said snacks. Oh, okay. oh snacks. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, um, I I wave over to I think it was Gene Gene or Harry who had all the food that we traveled with. Oh it's, yeah, the berries and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, whatever. The bird's we had kind of loudly them. squawking as he sees yeah. uh, all of the food and and berries yeah. that you have, and he. Just like instantly kind of like hops off gravy and goes to it and you know, like he's kind of like pecking at it, chugging it back, scale it fast. Uh he's gonna speak, speak. Yeah. Do you enjoy that? Yeah. 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 Um, would would you would you uh possibly like to uh do us a favor and, and uh you can have your fill here and uh even if you want, you can return with a message to us while we travel back, and we'll give you another treat when you return to us. Message to who? Uh, the mayor um, and the large building uh, in, in the town nearby. Uh, there is a, an important man there with a gray, gray beard. And, uh, and a stuffy butler. And a stuffy uh, and and a man <laughs> with a black suit and white gloves that you you will see. If you could deliver the message to them and wait to see if they would like to, if they give you anything in return, bring that to us. Okay. And, Don't choke on that seed now. So we write a message. What is the message that we're writing, guys? Well, you're the one who can talk. So why don't you choose? Um. Well, it can't be long. I mean, it's just so we just we write down that the the priest is alive, um, being healed, um, and we are on our way back to see if you need any help. Uh, if there's any news, please tie it to the bird, and and uh, the bird will deliver it to us. So we uh, take a little string and a little piece of whatever we can find. And uh, I think we have a pen that can write. <laughs> I don't know. Charcoal no. for the fire. Yeah. And we, we, that we magic quill. We, yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the magic quill. The, the oh, the quill. scriveners. Yeah. And we write a message and uh, tie it around the bird's little leg. Gently. Gently. And uh, give it a little bit of food and ask it to please fly to the, the large building in the town nearby. With this message. The bird kind of flies off, squawking. Uh, flies one direction, then comes back, flies the other direction. Seems like it's not sure exactly of the way. Oh. 
So kind uh, of, uh, floating back we, 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 we point. We point to yeah, the direction. We yeah, <laughs> we all that would be the southeast, I think, because we went north. Squawks and then heads in that direction. <laughs> you see him fly off. Uh, well, I have a tear in my eye. <laughs> With a tear in my eye, I say to Gel, "You're a natural born Aracocra. <laughs> you would have been is... accepted to our tribe." <laughs> and as this is still working, I. Look over to Polly and say, Polly, you're a pretty bird. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So that's that's that. And now we, uh, you guys want to pack up and are we leaving anything behind or? Pack it all up. I mean, boy. besides, besides the, we had the, is he, is he like floating in the water or still like? Tied so to it's one about of the noon. Carts? The sun is at, Midpoint in the sky. The priest is still looking the same. He appears to be healing. And not conscious. But he's still unconscious, correct. How many bags of water can I bring back? Or barrels, whatever they sent us with? So they sent one barrel and two bowls in the... uh, basket of like food items and stuff um the bowls had like cloth wrapped around it and um cheese is inside so you guys can just like take that out so you have those two bowls should we fill up the barrel or just the bowls you think probably a barrel i'm thinking the barrel yeah uh the barrel that you open uh was just full of like uh like a tarp tarp type material uh you take that out there some of the blankets that they loaded up for you mostly dried goods easy so you want to keep dry so you have that barrel to fill then and then whatever water skins you had i don't know who has what and and i tell gene that maybe he wants to take some of that water and clean his his knife or blade that he used earlier that uh, cut the priest I did. I'll just dunk it in the water. Be nice. Just hear the tiniest hiss behind me. <laughs> you. And we, the cloth that we took out, that everything that was around the priest has been dunked in the water, right? There's still nothing left in the cart that was. A, yeah, pretty much the bedding the he was on. Are imbe- the sheets are completely saturated with the water. I haven't been okay. in the water so long yeah. um, well, with him. Okay. We'll get like, I'll grab a water skin of the water and then I'll dump it on the blood in the cart. Okay, wash it down. Yeah, yeah. And, and given uh, Harry's spell abilities, from what we can tell, the only remaining disease is in the priest. Yeah, shame we can't Sorry. wake him up to have him drink some, but... Yeah, well, I know, right? Would that, that be actually... It make more sense if you think about the fact that the disease is curable until it takes root. And so there's nothing to take root in in a wagon or sheep. Oh, 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 yeah. Because it's not like a diseasable... Yeah, it can't be like infected. Right. Yeah. So it, it wants to spread. It's like a virus. But it has to have a host of some kind. Yeah, I see. Right. All right. Um, okay. So, are we all packed up? We get the, the the barrel filled with water. And you guys are going to take the priest with you, or is someone staying with him there? Take him. Uh, I think we'd want to take him because unless we're actively dunking him, there's no point in leaving him. Right. Yeah, we'll just we use the him. barrel to kind of baste him as we yeah. go. <laughs> Yeah, because the idea for us now at this point, Cricket, is we might have cured his outside and now bringing a barrel of water. If he wakes up, we can cure his inside if he drinks right. it. Like, yeah, because we're not obviously medical practitioners. We're just like winging it. We're just yeah. some guys with yeah. a barrel. Well, he's so. the expert. So. Yeah, we're really hoping he wakes up. He wakes otherwise. up and gives some advice. Yeah, yeah so otherwise it's Jesus. like, bruh. Otherwise, All right, so sucks. you guys load up and head back to town. 
Yeah. Obviously. And on the way, can I take can can I take a nap on the way as we travel? You can take a nap in the wagon as you travel. Okay. Um, on your way back, you don't travel nearly as fast as you did on the way there. Um, mm -hmm. But you left at about noon, and so you return the following morning uh, at around dawn. Mm. As you kind of uh, pull into the Lord's Manor. Oh, did the bird come back? Yeah, we asked it if it did find them and got a message that they meet us. As soon so as the, bird, the bird came back while you were on the road and met you. The bird brought you a message. We gave it, it food. You gave it food. <laughs> the message was from uh, Velushov, and the message said, Manka Giles infected. More infections. Oh, no. That so makes sense. Okay. When you guys um, are pulling into the town, mm -hmm. are you going to go straight to the Lord's Manor? Um, or are you going to go somewhere else now that you know that there are other infections? Well, I think we told them to quarantine any potential infected people, right? So where we do we think the they would do that at? Would they do that at the Lord's Manor? I'm asking well, you. you don't know what you're coming into. Okay. So if there's more infections, to, yeah. it's been approximately eight hours, eight, nine hours since you've received a message from the bird. So... Mm -hmm. You don't what know a, how many more infections. You don't know yeah. what state it's in. We have to go through the town to get to the manor. So why don't we stop at the tavern since it's on the way to Bailey Shoth's? Yeah. yeah. And we may, can maybe make, it's make... been turned into a makeshift infirmary. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Uh, Cricket, our party so... would drop by the tavern as we enter town is before we get to the tavern is there anything we notice as we come into town so Remember? as you come into town you notice that the um everything seems quiet the livery looks normal as you enter you guys enter um from the south end like directly by the iron horse Mm -hmm. And you, um, when you approach it, you notice that the the door is boarded up. That's good. Uh, okay, so we're down here. Yep. And did that consider a long rest for me on the way back, or a short rest, or? So, uh, you ha experienced a short rest on okay. the way back. Bumpy ride. So you will get the benefits of a short rest. And then... Let me see. You guys are in the wagon, so let me... Just bring that open. It's weird that it brought Gal, but it didn't bring the wagon. All right, whatever. <laughs> so do you guys continue on. on through the town, or are you going to uh, stay there at the Iron we Horse? Are you on foot the now? Iron like... horse and we saw it was boarded up. Was there any signage or anything outside the Iron Horse? Gal, why don't you knock? Nothing. Knock really hard. Minka, Minka. Gravy, you want to knock? I'm not as strong as you. Okay, we knock. I knock. Any and answer? No, nobody comes to answer. Okay. I say I, I, this place is boarded up. There's no signage or anything to indicate why. I don't think we should just go in. So maybe we keep looking through the town and see if there's anybody here that can tell us what's going on. I think we might need to go to the manor and get the situation from the mayor. Okay. I guess, yeah, 
if that makes sense, we should just take the cart through the town, and if anybody approaches us, or if we see anything... But maybe you guys are right, we should just stop at the mayor's. Okay, so we slowly walk through the town with the cart and uh, head towards the mayor's uh, manor, and if, any, if we see anybody, then we will speak to them. As you pass through the town, everything is uncommonly quiet. Mm. The windmill at the bakery is not spinning. The smoke is not coming out of the chimneys of the butcher or the bakery, the leather worker or blacksmith. There's nobody in the market. You come to a uh, stop in front of Shoth Manor and the front door is open. Oh, oh no. And that is John Carlo? No. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh man. Oh god. Well, at least we tried. Can't do this. Goodness gracious. At I least mean, we it could have been worse. We could have walked into the town and just be filled with like a missile. Yeah, uh, we might still be alive. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't know. It's yeah, been maybe... like nine hours since we got the message, so. Well, yeah. considering yeah. how bad. Nine hours since you got the message, but you don't know how long it took the bird or how long they, they strapped it to it. I mean, the bird could have been off. But... Yeah. I was going to say, considering how bad the priest was when we left and we still made it there in time the time it's taking us to come back that can't all be turned you know? yeah but so Manko was hurt, hurt pretty early so he could be turned unfortunately COVID has taught me that everybody deals with sickness <laughs> differently that's true <laughs> that's very true oh GG's guys that was tense it started off with me worrying and now it's ending with me worrying <laughs> <laughs> I have a style <laughs> yeah fear yay yeah, this is definitely a, a scary episode for me <laughs> what are y'all i'm playing curse of strahd one night now this is oh my god i'm asleep oh baby pig all right i will see you guys next week <laughs> see you right. next Thanks. week sleep tight bye bye bye